Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, of course. And today I wanted to share with you all how I made my Cult of the Lamb costume. Instead of a tutorial, it's going to be more of what not to do to make the Cult of the Lamb costume or just any costume in general. I made a similar video um, with my robe. I made a robe. I made a lot of mistakes uh, making a robe. So I showed you what not to do and then I'm going to show you what not to do when making a Cult of the Lamb costume. Of course, I have the audacity to assume that everything's going to be easy. This was probably very, very difficult to do considering I've only ever made a robe before this. <laughs> so I don't really make any sense when it comes to the bait. Like, I should start with the basics as a beginner and go up from there. But no, I just jump into whatever I feel like with no experience whatsoever. Before we get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'd appreciate it so, 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 so much. And with that, let's get started with the what not to do. I measured myself from like the top of my shoulder down to past my hip a little bit. And with that measurement, I ended up buying two yards of red fabric and then one yard of the white fabric. I should have doubled it. That was my first mistake in this process because I wanted it to be thicker and I also wanted to make kind of a closure down the center so that way I could raise my arms and do my spell or ritual like he does in the game. Alas, since I did not do double the fabric, I knew it would be a lot harder to do with just one layer. And also double the fabric really helps hide um, a lot of imperfections. Uh, for example, your hemline or where you stitch not being completely straight. Uh, if you look closely at my costume, which I'm not going to show you closely because I'm very embarrassed, I uh, you can kind of see little little squiggles where I'm kind of when I'm putting the fabric through the sewing machine, you can see me kind of just shifting the fabric around instead of it just being a straight line. So when you layer it, it's a lot harder to notice those things, those imperfections. So I started creating this costume on October 6th and I finished it October 25th. There was a lot of stopping and starting when I was doing this because I work during the day and I also needed to create the crown and I made uh, two follower t-shirts for my pet dog and my younger brother so they could be my followers. To start creating this costume, I folded it and laid it out flat on the floor. Then I laid down very carefully on the fabric and had my partner kind of put two dots where my neck like would fit through. And when he did the two dots, I, I just created that U shape like and connected the two dots and made it a tiny bit bigger so that way my head could fit through. And after I cut the hole out, I just cut it out. I made sure it fit. I put it on my mannequin, made sure it looked right. And then I put it on myself and my head fit. So that was great. After that, I then folded it back up and cut it into a, the size I wanted. I treated it kind of like a poncho. This is where my second mistake came in, which is not having any fabric pattern tracing paper. Having that tracing paper, it would have made it a lot easier to get the shape that I wanted. I had to keep opening it and closing it and drawing on it, trying it on, just to make sure I got the shape right and as close to perfect as possible. It was driving me crazy. Um, I really did want the points to look more triangular and it was incredibly di difficult. I, I tried my best to make them more triangle looking. I eventually just had to accept my fate and realize that it wasn't going to be perfect. So I just hemmed the fraying edges on the red part of my fabric after I cut the shape. After that, I moved on to the white trim of the costume. I really messed up there because I should have cut thicker pieces, folded it into itself three times, like thrice, thrice, three times. Just folded it that way when I sewed it on to the costume, there would be no fraying ends. But I messed up and I cut the pieces too small. And I cut way too many pieces, way too small, so I couldn't 
like salvage it i just had to deal with the consequences of my actions which was just cutting willy-nilly instead of being able to fold the white trim three times like i wanted to i could only fold it twice so the fraying ends were very incredibly visible on the costume and i was so mad at myself like i said i i don't know what it is it's some type of self-destructive behavior that i make these things so much harder on myself i just had to sew the white on and then i cut the fraying edges as best as i could to make it look better to make it look prettier it it was hard but i did it um i just had to see it through i was actually impressed with the finished product i didn't expect it to turn out as well as it did i think also having the pieces like the bell uh which i also spray painted yellow um and like the crown and stuff like just really tied in the whole look so it drew away from how horribly made the fleece was but yeah from a distance it looks great just learn from my mistakes be patient don't cut willy-nilly and think things through uh and double your fabric and invest in some tracing paper i had to eyeball the triangles and stuff but yeah here's me uh, trying it on and gracie with her cute little costume i think it turned out really cute like i said it looks great from a distance from a distance so stay far away i'll make sure you also check out my instagram i posted more pictures there with the final look along with my brother who was a follower yeah that is all for this week's video i really really hope you enjoyed this not tutorial and i will see you all in the next video bye